right, welcome, welcome everyone to uh, Benzingo After Hours. I'm here with uh, our host Ryan Rosbiani. Ryan, how we doing? Hey, Aaron. how you doing? I'm doing well. How's everyone doing? I'm I'm doing all right. You know, my portfolio has seen better days, but I'm I'm doing pretty well, so I can't complain. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's a weird red day because uh, I mean I've got the weirdest. I don't know why GCB, but Spy today. Uh, was red when it was 395 last week it was red when it was like 380 like to me i don't i don't i don't know it was it was weird seeing spy red but it was in the uh 390s but uh i think the biggest thing that's going on right now people are really scared about uh the powell talk that's happening tomorrow uh J- jerome powell the chairman he's gonna be talking about interest rates and stuff even though every time he says hey we're keeping the interest rates low uh we're not going to be raising interest rates People still get freaked out. People still get scared. So, I guess that's uh, something we just have to be prepared for. And we see a small sell-off, but it was weird because the Fang stocks, uh, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google were all green. So uh, that was a good sign to me that the tech wasn't being really affected too much. And this was just a small fear-based sell-off. And we should hopefully after tomorrow's talk, we should start seeing an incline again. Yeah, I'm seeing comments about my. I'm trying out this new mic, so I'm. Oh, thank you. Now Mitch isn't is helping me out. All right, yeah. So I just boosted my my volume in the software, but I think it might be some settings on the mic. Ryan, I'm gonna let you just kind of take over, take some tickets sure, in man. the chat while I uh, sure, man. while I, I troubleshoot this. Thank you. Awesome, man. Of course. So, um, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for uh, being here with us. And um, let's if you guys have any questions, we can throw it in the chat. But first, I want to start off by talking about CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike just had. Um, uh, rumor, that's a great question. Um, we'll talk about the $1,400 stimulus check as well. I did a stream yesterday, a uh, quick video, not stream, quick video on my YouTube channel about that as well. But um, I want to talk about Crowd first of all, because this is a stock that I really, what am I doing? And this is a stock that I really, really like, and they just had really, really good earnings. So I'm going to be a little bit selfish here, and I want to talk about Crowd to you guys a little bit, but I want to talk about the earnings. So they uh, their adjusted earnings, they beat um, where are we? They, so they beat their earnings. Uh, their EPS came in at 0.13 versus 0.8. So that's very, very good. Uh, their sales beat as well by about uh, 14.9, 14.5, 14.46 So we're going to get really technical with the math. So I'm very, very happy uh, about that. Um, so Crowd, for those of you who don't know, they're a cloud computing company. Uh, they've got a lot of government-based contracts. Um, and they, uh, they tend to, they're, they're a Goliath. They're very, very big. Uh, the reason I invested is I actually saw that a few, uh, the government contracts thing was the first thing that turned me out to this company. I did a lot more research on them and I liked the company. So I bought shares and I used Red Day specifically to buy this. In my opinion, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say in the stream is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, please take any risks at your own uh, discretion. Um, but CrowdStrike is a stock that I like under 200 really, really well. It does really, really well under 200 to get it and then ride it up. But uh, we could take a look at the chart. And then as questions come into the YouTube chat, we would jump into those stocks as well. So here we could take a look and see that uh, crowd on the daily. I'm trying to, I got so many. Uh, the cool thing we have about this Benzinga Pro is the tool that we're using here. Is we, it tells us why like the stock is moving. So this is uh, one really good tool that tell because like sometimes you see a stock is going up and you're like is this a pump what's going on but the benzinga pro tool has the in uh, built-in advantage where it tells us that hey uh this is based off of the earnings that came out and the guidance for the fy22 sales were really good and they're above estimates so it's hoping to help the stock up and as you can see here this is a fairly new company um they ipo'd in july of 2019 i mean it's not a new company it's a new company to the stock exchange fairly uh it's just forming it's 200 ma now so it's really good here um just like all the other stocks it was marred by the correction that came through but it's uh recovering very very nicely and i want to see it overtake that 21 ma hopefully tomorrow if not into the after hours today but i think tomorrow as the big uh hedge funds and the big money starts being able to buy a market open because i don't think most of them really play in the off market hours like we do but I'm looking forward to that. So, as um, have your questions come in, and I will start jumping in and answering them. And but um, with, uh, just because it's a financial education video, and we have to do it. Do me a favor and smash the like button. That always helps the show, so we can show the producers, uh, show producer Aaron that we're doing a good job here, so he doesn't fire us. But we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So, um, 
Rumor is one of our fan favorites uh, that shows up here. He's one of our favorite viewers. Um, so we'll definitely get to his question. So uh, Call Meow says, got killed in Baba, but this is the dog. Okay, I don't know what that means, but let's take a look at Baba. So Baba was a stock that had a bit of a weird turn last year where uh, the CEO was missing for like two months. And as you, you can probably see that here in October, it started coming down with everything else that was going on. And then the CEO uh, reemerged from the shadows, stock went up, and then with the correction of everything that was happening, it also came back down. Um, this is a this is a delicate stock, so it looks like the support that I would see for this stock is at the two hundred and eleven dollar support. It's looking shaky. Um, Baba recently said that they want to do an EV car, and um, I, I don't know how much that works with them. So Baba, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like the Amazon of the Asian markets. Uh, they're very big in China, um, and they do a lot of really good work um, there. So. Uh, I want to check out. So again, I'm I'm not trying to just promote the Benzinga Pro Two. I want to show you how I go through my DD strategies to see why a stock is adjusting. So I come and I look at the news that's been coming out for it, so I can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. So Baidu chip reported two billion dollar valuation. Uh, so again, this is Baidu. It's a stock that you'll see stocks sometimes with the plus one sign here. That means that it's related that this article contains not just one stock but two stocks. So I really look for the stocks that um have just looked for the stories that just have that one stock so ant group investors slash that there we go so it looks like they uh took a swing at the valuation so i'm going to pop this open you probably won't see this in the new tab ant group investors slash valuation estimates after pulled ipo so it looks like um their valuation for baba's came down so of course that's going to hurt the stock price so we will definitely um be uh kind of looking at that later and kind of watching that into the market to see how it goes as we start adjusting that. So let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at uh, another stock so we could talk about, it. but I would definitely come back to rumors question about the $1,400 checks and how I would adjust it. Um, so let's talk about Jivo. Lee Pilgrim is asking about Jivo. Michael, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, Red Owl's here. How you doing, Tony? How's it going, man? How's everyone doing? Guys, if you're here, smash that like button. I'm so happy you guys are here. These are some familiar faces that I know from Twitter. It's always good to see you folks here with us. So let's talk about Jivo. Jivo has earnings coming up tomorrow at market close. Jivo is one of my favorite stocks in the biofuel space because it's literally one of the only stocks that i've invested in within the biofuel space so i'm uh, very excited to see how this works they got a big bump after their co-founder joined the energy board for the biden administration so it looks like biofuel is also one of the key things that is a, a big factor within it's looking into the infrastructure bill biden's talking about the green, green energy stuff that will be built into that infrastructure bill so this could be one of those that is benefited greatly by it but i do think that again with um with a stock like this so we can see the estimates um okay so there's no estimates here but with a stock like this again it's a stock that was sub one dollar just last year um earnings are going to be a little bit difficult for this stock because they depend on their biggest mover is biofuel for airplanes and airlines. Their biggest contract is Delta Airlines. So for Jivo, I'm expecting them to have not so great earnings. So that creates a dip buy opportunity for those of you who want to invest long term, those of you who even want to swing it, you'll see some stocks will dip on earnings and then jump right back up. Or you can have an NNDM situation where the earnings weren't so great and then boom, pops up and goes up. So SPAC Superman saying, estimate I'm seeing is a loss of 0 0.05 a share, which is not that bad, which is not that bad at all. And we will talk about Mara's earnings as well in this video, because I know that Mara is a stock that everyone really likes. Um, can you find the share lockup expiry dates in Benzinga Pro? I'm not too sure. Those are really found in, uh, so Toti is asking about that. So those are really found um, uh, within the sec filings so we can definitely you can definitely check those within the sec filings to find lockup expiry dates for stocks i don't think that there's a section here within benzing and maybe i'm not familiar with it but those are deep within the sec filings just just do control f lock update and you'll be able to kind of see what's going on within there uh so let's talk about it so sundial broke 1.52 ready to make a move into for earn into earnings tomorrow so let's go to sundial now we've got super spac man came with a sundial question uh, and rumor, I will get back to your question, I promise. Um, I just want to cycle through a few stocks, get the ball rolling a little bit more here, and then we can definitely jump into uh, the $1,400, the big $1,400 question. Um, 
and I'm getting you, I'm still getting used to uh, learning how to work StreamYard a little bit, so I can see your comments here now. So I don't have to jump back and forth. So I'm getting a little bit better at this. So I'm having I'm having a lot more fun today uh, versus me. Usually I'm jumping between screens. So uh, Sundial's getting stronger. Sundial's going up, but I what I fear with Sundial is again a penny stock. So it will earnings aren't usually beautiful for penny stocks, and they tend to kind of hurt them. Um, I'm going to see if I can pull up Sundial's previous earnings. How the how the stock reacted in their previous earnings. Um, just jumping real quick. So it looks like in all of their previous earnings, the stock tends to kind of tank and then start to recover afterwards. So I'm, I would say I'm looking for a long ter longer term swing scalp position in Sundial as we go get closer to the cannabis bill. Uh, Governor Cuomo of New York said that he is getting very close to legalizing cannabis in New York. So whatever that means. Um, so I would say tomorrow might be a good opportunity that we're getting earnings uh, in one day from now on March 17th after market close. So tomorrow at market close, we'll be getting those earnings as well. And it might be a good opportunity to jump in. Then I wouldn't ri ri ride this up because it is a tactic that investors use and traders use, not investors, traders, to kind of push a stock up into earnings and then sell right before the earnings come out. And you'll see a big dip, especially if earnings are really, really bad. Um, Hello, everyone. I see everyone interacting here, so that's awesome. Um, my pleasure, Spack Man. Uh, man, I ha uh, so Isaac says, Man, did I have a bad day? Who can I blame? I'm looking for a blame. So, Isaac, you can actually blame our pal. Every time he talks, it seems like the day before the day of the market turns red in fear. But uh, hopefully, if he does a good job, we will have a good market rebound tomorrow. So, we should do it. Uh, green energy ticker BW. I like BW a lot. I like BW a lot. So, let's go to BW. Uh, so, Babic and Wilcox Enterprises is a green energy stock. If you look here, they're forming somewhat of a a flag here it's right that your your base support essentially is your 50 ma the 21 ma kind of likes to bounce off and jump around it uh this is one of those stocks that even during the crazy correction that we had i just want to make sure i'm using the right candles real quick okay i'm in haikinashi so let me go into regular candles so even during the uh red correction that we had in february it didn't go to it didn't go too down it was it held this area of support here at 536 and is now slowly recovered of course it's having a red day today but it's holding the 21 ma support for a few days now and that's good and i want to see this i think this is a candidate for one of those that will help as we go into the infrastructure bill into the green energy bills this will be one that pops because it's a it's a sub ten dollar green energy stock and it looks like it's doing good um so I like it. I like this. As a Roaring Kitty would say, I like the stock. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Um, sell uh, Buck Z says sell before earnings. Uh, penny stocks are penny stocks aren't garbage, man. Mara used to be a penny stock. It bounced up. Jivo used to be a penny stock. It bounced up. Penny stocks are if you do if you find a penny stock with a really good team, with a really good sector, or with a really good plan to execute, you can find a diamond in the rough. Yes, penny stocks some of, mostly on average will do quite poorly. But uh, you can sometimes find really good penny stocks in the, in the dirt, and you can kind of ride those up, and they can make you an immense amount of wealth. So it just takes a lot more due diligence and DD to kind of dive deeper. Um, Michael Hartman says Palantir. Palantir, you guys know I like Palantir a lot. I tweet about this one all the time. I got, I got yelled at by someone on Twitter who said, hey, why are you talking about the meme stocks? Last I checked, Palantir wasn't a meme stock. Palantir is um, – it's a defense stock that's been pretty very respectable. Um, meme stocks and are like AMC, GME, and I've got a funny story for AMC for you after we analyze uh, Palantir. Palantir doesn't have a 200 MA because it hasn't been in the it hasn't been live for 200 days yet. Um, but I can turn on the 100 MA to kind of I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> I could make the 200. Uh, 100 simple moving average. So for those of you who don't know, moving averages are it takes the average of the last number of days, whatever you set it to. So 21 is past 21, 50 is past 20, 100 is past 100. So we're forming a support using the 100 MA here, which is really, really good. Um, and uh, we can definitely see this kind of, it's slowly building support around the 100 MA here and it's recovering. So I need to, I need my RSI and MACD for this one here. So if you, if you look here, um, Palantir took a beating and this was because of earnings. It took a beating, came down and slowly starting to recover. Uh, the recovery is being marred here by these two red candles uh, because it's going back into, it's kind of rejecting that, uh, it's kind of rejecting that reversal. But I think that it can bounce back up quite quickly with a few green days. And I think that it's mainly due to 
the Powell fear that's happening right now, which we shouldn't be afraid of. The Treasury has said it. Um, Powell, uh, Powell has said it. Um, Janet Yellen has said that, hey, we're not going to be increasing interest rates for now. We're going to be keeping inflation low any way that we can. We don't want to destroy the market because the market is really fragile right now. And we don't want to tumble us into something scary. So it's a rational fear that you can kind of use to your advantage to get in on red days on stocks like this. So thank you for the question, Michael. Uh, PLTR, definitely. Tom is right. It's not a meme stock. Can we, we check OGI, please? Yes. Yeah, so we'll check OGI. Then I want to go into uh, Rumor's question because uh, Rumor is one of our one, uh, a fan favorite. Uh, so we, I will talk about OGI. OGI is a cannabis stock that I'm liking very much. I think that this stock will be the one that makes the biggest move. This time around versus last time around when it was Sundial that made the big move, Sundial got beat up really, really bad. So I think that OGI can be one that makes a really, really big move into the cannabis sector. And as you can see here, it had a big move previously too, to a high of 645. So I think that it, we can see the same type of movement. Again, your artist size arcing because you've got these red candles here that are hurting it. You've got this green hammer, which um, as it's called the green hammer candle, like pew, I mean, I'd like it to be a little thicker, but it's not a doji. This is a doji right here. Uh, just quick, trying to teach you guys a little bit of technical analysis, sprinkling that in there as we're doing this. Um, but um, I want to see this. I want to see this go up too. I'd like, if I was to take a position, I'd like to get into this stock uh, under four dollars. I, I want this stock at the as close to three dollars as possible. So I want to catch it on like a really, really bloody red day. Get it like at the th in the three dollar mark. If I was smart, I would have taken a position here when it was at the, the $2.38 area, but I, I had gotten to a point with the correction that I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to recover. So I wanted to kind of wait it out a little bit. And I don't mind paying a little bit more for a stock long term. So OGI is the stock that we're talking about right now. And uh, rumor fan favorite. Yeah. Michael, you're also a fan favorite too. You guys are all fan favorites. I love you guys all. Uh, Jaren, we actually talked about Crowd early on. They had really good earnings. I'm really liking where it goes. Uh, Palantir, uh, lockup will expire next week. So yeah, we can see that. You can probably... So lockup, um, if the lockup expires, that means shares that are locked up that founders, investors can't sell, now have the ability to sell. I don't know why they would sell it now. I mean, of course, they've made a tremendous... Uh, profit where they are so we could see a dip then but i'm not i'll be honest with you i'm not worried about it i'm not worried about palantir much to me it's a long-term stock I'll, i'm gonna hold that for like a year or two and then come back and look at it then I'll just kind of leave it in there and um come back to it later so i do want to answer rumor's question now so rumor was asking about the 1400 dollars stimulus check um he said i'm gonna go back to his exact his exact question <laughs> i'm scrolling up to through the comments and i see rumors that he sold more at five dollars as long as you made profits on a stock that's completely fine no worries about it then and i'm seeing a lot more questions that i might have missed but i will try to catch you on the way down um Rumor said my dad's getting the fifth, the fourteen hundred dollar check because I exist. Okay, so I guess that wasn't an exact question about the fourteen hundred dollar check. But uh, my advice to you is, if you're getting it again, not a financial advisor, but uh, if you have any debt, pay off your debt. That uh, especially student loans, that debt can accrue really, 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 really quickly um, because of the rising interest rates. I know, I think interest rates are probably frozen on those. But if you can get rid of student loans, that's probably your best bet. And then. Uh, second common question I get is how should I split it up if I want to go into the crypto world? Should I go all crypto? Should I go all crypto stock? I would say cut it in half and go that way. And then you can also look into um, investing it into ETFs is also good. And also my favorite suggestion uh, to you for this is if you don't have a Roth IRA, which is a tax, it kind of it's kind of like a retirement tax based account where it's kind of you don't have to pay taxes on it after you retire. Whatever gains you make. Or your own you don't have to pay taxes on it but the six thousand dollars maximum contribution that you can make is not tax deductible but i would use that fourteen hundred dollars to open up a roth ira if you haven't or try to make your contribution to your roth ira because this is kind of a good non-taxable fourteen hundred dollars that can kind of help you get a jump start on that so if there's any other specific questions or questions you want for uh in regards to your fourteen hundred dollar check, just put it in the comments, and we can definitely go over them. So I'm going to start. I'm going to catch. I missed a few stocks here, so I want to make sure I can honor the questions that came in. Um, but we do get a lot. So uh, Isaac num, uh, Isaac Money is asking a uh, ALPP has Twitter groups and subreddits uh, dedicated, seeing this all over social media. So I hate <laughs> I hate when a stock becomes like a cult stock because that means it can become a pump and dump. But we can take a look at it together. Um, 
So this is an over-the-counter stock. It's an OTC. Uh, engages in provisions of software, automotive technologies, electronics, energy services. Okay, cool. Um, cool sector. I don't know much about this company to be transparent with you, but we will go over it and do technical analysis on it just like any other stock. So it's looking like it came down. It came down and slowly it wants to start doing a recovery, but it's being it's been stagnant for the past over a week now. So I would watch this one closely. It could either make a jump up or it can gap down and come down here and test the 200 MA. So I would be careful with this one. And remember, OTC stocks are stocks that are not on the regular trade exchanges. You won't find these on Webull, Robinhood, SoFi. You have to do these on E-Trade, uh, Charles Schwab, uh, TD Ameritrade, and brokers like that. Uh, Tom is asking, when does Powell speak? Tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I believe is the time he's slated to speak. But um, of course, these times change. Uh, SPAC, a super SPAC man is asking, XL and EV are hybrid fleet vehicle play. Swing for me, anticipating a decent earnings report end of the month. Um, sure, I mean, if you believe in them and you think their earnings are going to be doing well, if you see that they had, con remember, this is Q4 earnings that are coming out now. So this is the last three months of 2020. So if they had stuff coming in then and it makes sense and you like it, uh, play it that way. But I mean, I don't know too much about XL fleets. I know, I think um, one of these big companies got hurt by uh, a short report. So you can definitely use short reports to your advantage as well if it's a play of high conviction. In. Um, what is Babock and Wilcox Enterprises? Richard is asking. Richard, that is stock ticker BW that we spoke about a little bit earlier. Um, Spackman says plus one Palantir. I'll make that plus two Palantir. I like Palantir as well. Palantir is on a list, but that is a meme. Yeah, I saw that too. I saw um, someone from CNBC uh, put out a list. Uh, Jim Cramer said that like there's a bunch of meme stocks out that that are high risk, and it was like it was GameStop, AMC, Palantir, Tesla, Square, PayPal. It's like how are these meme stocks? I just don't understand it. But I mean, to each their own. Let them do what he wants to do. We all have our own opinions, and we're all justified to our own opinions. Tony C is asking about Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is interesting. Bitcoin, uh, I can't pull up the Bitcoin chart here, but what I can do for you is I can pull up Trade View, and we can go over it that way. So um, Trade View, so I will as that's loading and coming up, I'll answer another question, then I'll come back to your question, Tony. Um, uh, need more info on OGI. So OGI, I, I would say do some due diligence on them yourself, and you'll be able to find some good stuff. They're in the cannabis sector, but in the medicinal section of the cannabis world, essentially, not just straight up selling uh, cannabis like uh, Afra and some other companies. But we could, I would say definitely sit down and do some due diligence in it yourself. See if you like it and play it. Dogecoin, LOL joking. Uh, song. I love, Dogecoin is awesome. Everyone loves Dogecoin. Uh, big shout out to Elon Musk and Mark Cuban who've been loving Dogecoin. FTCV. I saw that was a big, uh, that's a spec that made a big move today. FTCV. Um, let's see. Let's see what made the move. Wow. Okay. Big jump. Let's see. This is why this tool is so useful. I can come down here and see what's going on. Okay, who are these guys merging with? They're merging with eToro. Okay, eToro, which works, it's kind of like the fintech company, eToro. Uh, so I get it. It makes sense. eToro is a good company. They're established. Um, that's I see that's why they had to jump. It makes It's cool. I, I Again, with SPACs, I would say you'll see the initial jump. Then a few days later or even tomorrow, you'll see a cool off. Never chase a SPAC. Never chase any stock, essentially, in my opinion, because you'll see it fluctuate up and down and then... Like even right now, you see it's down 4.5%. Right now, it was up 36% on the day. You'll see this come back down very soon. Hopefully, again, it depends on the float and everything that goes on with the stock and the deal. So again, I'm not getting any float numbers for it here, but I base it off of that for sure. Um, okay, my chat just jumped. Uh, is it Money says, uh, what is the new short sell rule being rumored? Short sellers have to cover the daily after the rule passes. Uh, is this just dumb chatters? I have seen stuff about that as well, that they have 48 hours now to cover their sell. It hasn't been confirmed. It hasn't been signed into law, but we'll have to definitely see. If I hear anything, I will tweet about it. Uh, my Twitter is at Ryan Rasby, and you can follow me there, and I'll be if I post anything, you'll be able to see it. Um, Eric Wong, in all capital, I was going to can you please check Tillery? I love Tillery. We can, of course, we can check Tillery. T-L-R-Y. Tillery is one of my favorite stocks in the cannabis sector for long-term play rather than scalp play. This is one where you want to start accumulating on red days for the longer-term moves as we go to a fully cannabis world. Um, Tillery is doing good. Its reversal is coming. Um, 
it looks like it wanted to reverse and then it was slowly rejected quickly not slowly quickly rejected here with the red candle um but this is an interesting stock i would ignore this candle right here this was these two big candles were due to a short squeeze that happened uh over at Wall Street Bets, so I would completely ignore those two candles, even this, these three candles I'd ignore and just treat the chart as if it's like that, but I really, really I like Tilray long term, I really do. Uh, Michael says, you happy with Tech ATM? I'm seeing a nice recovery overall from a 10% or so loss last few weeks. Yes, I'm very happy with tech. This is the thing, um, the tech sector isn't going anywhere. Everyone uh, talks about tech as if tech is going to disappear or go away or slow down. Yes, you can. Ha you won't, we might not have 50, 60, 70% gains like we had last year because uh, tech was, came really into the center vault last year. So, but I do imagine that tech will have nice movements this year as well we just got to give the market some time to kind of shake and adjust there's a lot that's going on in this first quarter of the year so we have to let the market adjust to it let the uh, stimulus come in let the market get ready get its feet wet and then we can see some big moves moving forward the only time that i'm worried about is september when unemployment runs out that's when i'm a little bit worried about the market is then but from now until then i don't see any major major issues especially with everything that's going on there's a lot of spending going on which will hurt us long term but short term we can use that to our advantage as traders and kind of make money quickly off of it um doo -doo 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 -doo. thank you richard uh patrick pellegrino says free college with biden I mean, we'll have to see i don't i don't i haven't spoken to biden recently so i don't know for getting free college uh, that'd be cool i'm definitely not going back though i don't i've had enough college um so it says, did you guys see the genius in Roblox news? I'm hyped. I did. I did. I saw that, that they'll be working together on something. So it's going to be interesting to see how genius and Roblox work together. Um, but we can take a look at genius's chart. I know that they had a, they had a jump on their chart due to this news. So I know a lot of folks were waiting on genius to say something and make a move, uh, and kind of make, make some news and make some noise to help investors this is one of those stocks that was being pumped heavy last last year especially last summer uh i said i didn't like it back then and i'm still not crazy about it i bought hasbro instead and that's been doing well but this one looks like it'll have a slow turn and this one has a lot of potential in it too but again sit down or do your due diligence on this one because one catalyst or one thing shouldn't be what justifies the movement of a stock big term uh, long term so I'd say be very careful with this one, just like any other stock in the penny world for your long-term movements. Um, drones, I think, I think their thing is, I, I don't, I don't know what that means. Okay, thank you, Eric. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Uh, Sung Kim says Uber just announced seventy thousand workers in the UK are going to be reclassified just now to get minimum wage plus benefits. How will this affect their price? Uh, that depends on how investors feel about that. Um, sometimes investors don't like the fact that people are being paid more in the company, so they will pull their money out, but we can take a look at Uber's chart, let the chart tell us what the investors think, how do they react to it? Um, looks like we're down 1%, um, after hours, and then we're down 2.3% on the day. So it looks like they weren't a big fan of this news and we'll definitely have to see how that reacts. Uber is, Uber is one of those companies that's been having a shaky time and Uber, um, this was their IPO price here. They tanked heavy in March. They came back and recovered to around where their IPO price was, sort of. Now they're above their IPO price finally. Um, but this is one of those stocks that is using the 200 MA as support here and kind of riding that. So we'll have to definitely see it, but I, I like to see it above here. But again, this curl down tell me we might be heading for a trajectory of coming back down here and testing the 200 MA one more time on Uber. But Uber is one of those companies that wows me because they have so they're in so many different things. They're in Uber Eats, the Uber Cars, the taxi service. But I think I think uh, Uber is Uber needs to innovate a little bit more and kind of get out there and do better PR, better press. They had a lot of bad press, and that's not really good. So we'll definitely have to see how Uber does. But I don't know. I, I don't know. That's an, it's an, Uber's an interesting one. ALPP is about to be uplisted to NASDAQ. Yeah, that's that's awesome. So uh, OTC market, so Isaac is referring to ALPP. Uh, if a stock it can go from the OTC to NASDAQ, a lot of stocks are in talks to do that. I, I would just wait for that to happen and then ride that. Uh, so Giancarlo is asking, what do you think about KMPH? It gapped while I was asleep last night. Also SES under the biotech. So let's look at KMPH. I know KMPH had really good news recently and caused it to gap up. And... Um, 
we can see that on the chart here it gapped up and then came back down and kind of filled that gap and is slowly going back up as well so i don't know much about them in terms of dd uh i haven't i don't really uh, play around in the bio world bio queen v does a lot of great stuff on this channel so you can subscribe and she does uh she does her show i believe uh, about in the afternoon so you can definitely check her out she does really really good stuff with that and these questions would be perfect for her um and SENS, we can look at the chart as well for that one. SENS. Um, again, this is a chart that's begging for a reversal. It wants to find its way back up, but it's been having a hard time with these red days. They're not doing it any favor. So we'll have to definitely see again. Biotech stocks, they need news, they need they need fuel to kind of get up there and sometimes and it's very hard to provide news because you need to be able to do something big to be able to put out a presser. You can't just put out a presser and hope your stock goes up. So you have to definitely um, these are slow churn companies, but sometimes they can do really, really, really well. We saw that with BNGO. They were penny stock sub $1 and bam, now they're in the around $10 range. So you can definitely see that happen. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me see. Let me see. I'm getting so many comments. It's, oh, it's getting fun. Uh, Jason's here. Hey, hey Jason. How you doing? Um, Jason's, Jason Raznick, the big boss of Benzinga. Uh, him and um, Luke do the power hour in the afternoons. And it's a lot of fun. Yesterday he invested... I think $250,000 within 10 minutes and see some awesome stocks. I saw Morrow was there, so I was really happy to see that. So great investment there. Um, long term, of course. Today it's having a bit of a difficult day. Uh, Nokia 5G. I think Nokia is great long term. I like Nokia as well. PLTR ranked number three today, just FYI. Uh, I don't know what that means, ranked number three and what. CPNG. CPNG is Coupang, I believe. CPNG. Uh, Coupang. Coupang is a one that is kind of like the Amazon of South Korea. Uh, I had uh, so in my Discord group, I talked to a, uh, one of our members. Uh, his name is Sung as well. He told he did a lot of deep diving there. He had family members there and. Um, Korea, they spoke about that they love it, but this stock is did a direct IPO, and their insider and in, uh, investors and kind of insider owners are selling off their shares a lot. We saw big sell offs, so this stock will suffer for the short term and then long term it should kind of pick back up uh bill ackman was an investor in this company as well he donated all of his shares though so that's pretty cool um but i think long term coupon will do decent we just need to give it time to again recover from the insider selling uh do, 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 do. <laughs> rumor producer aaron did not fall asleep he's putting all the tickers on the screen his mic is just messed up so he's just uh adjusting and uh, growing pains of tech. We get, we all get there. Armando says, uh, what are your thoughts on a AAPL? So Apple and CMCA CSA. So, okay. So let's talk about Apple. I like Apple a lot. Uh, this is a conversation that I have had with a lot of people. We're going to completely, uh, MACD and RSI are upwards. So I'm just going to show you the full chart. So right here, if you look, uh, Apple rose up on rumors of a car. Uh, people are talking about the Apple car a lot now. Um, I think with the Apple car, uh, people are betting on if it, is it Lucid, is it Fisker, is it uh, a canoe, who is it? I personally don't care. I invested in Apple and I invested in uh, MGA, which is the uh, Magna, which is the company that's contracted to do these cars. Whoever it is, they will be built there. So you have two definite stocks who will go up based off of this car news when it comes, if and when it comes. And there's so much stuff coming down the pike that people are saying, hey, it's going to happen. So I think that this will help this stock go up long term. And it's Apple. They've got billions of dollars of revenue. They're a solid company. I just wish that they would innovate a little bit more. And I think uh, we should start getting some cool augmented reality pro products from Apple to be able to kind of help us there. So I'm just going to kind of jump around now because there's so many questions. So I want to make sure that uh, we hit everything really, really well. Um, do, 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 THBR and Chris. Um, who's Chris? THBR. THBR. Underbridge. I'm not sure who Chris is that you're referring to, but we can take a look. I know THBR is a spec. Uh, they went really, really high up. Um, and now they're kind of consolidating down here uh, and they're adjusting. The SPAC market is getting hurt a lot. When SPY comes down, SPACs come down even harder and they take a little bit to recover. But once they recover, they have a glorious recovery and they do really, really well and kind of shoot back up and do nicely. So again, with a SPAC like this, let's see who they're merging with. Um, we can probably get it here in the Benzinga Pro Tool. We'll tell you a lot of really good information about the stocks. Um, Okay, if, if you guys uh, share a SPAC that you want me to take a look at, just do me a solid and tell me who they're merging with. It kind of helps me answer your questions a little bit quicker. 
Thunderbridge Capital. Okay, so Indy Semiconductors. Okay, yes, this is a semiconductor spec. So semiconductors are in shortage. Uh, I don't know if these guys are producing them yet or what they're doing, but semiconductors are a hot sector moving forward because you need semiconductors and chips for all of this tech that's coming out in the world, especially as we move forward. So I, I like this spec in terms of that. But again, I have to look at the investor presentation to be able to give you uh, more information to kind of uh, see where we're going. Eric Father says, give Ryan a raise. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Um, can you look at USX on the daily chart? Thank you. That's so specific. That was so specific. I love I like I love it when this shocks when this shocks, when the stock are specific. And I'm sorry if I'm stuttering a little bit today. I've got a little bit of a lockjaw going on. I um I got a blood test tomorrow and I'm not really good with blood tests. So I get a little bit nervous the day before. And I'm being really transparent with you guys today. So blood tests freak me out. So I get a little bit nervous. And when I get nervous, I get locked jawed. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so US Express Enterprises Inc. Uh, look, this has got a nice chance. This thing's going up nice. It's got, uh, you got a golden cross right here. So golden cross, for those of you who don't know, is when the 50 MA crosses on top of the 200 MA. That's a very bullish signal. Um, so it goes, whoosh, whoosh, and, that, and, and the stock reflected it, and it's gone up, and it's doing very well. It looks looks like it wants to go. So let me see, what is the all-time? It was in October. They had a high of 11.28, and then here we had another high of 11.66. So it beat its high in October. Uh, this gap that was formed here, it gapped down, filled the gap up beautifully, and now it's riding it back up. It looks like it's going for a little bit of a reversal downward, so we'll see a bit of a cool-off period for U.S. Express Enterprises. Are these guys in shipping? They are so their truckload carrier portfolio. Okay, so we'll have to see. Um, yeah, this these guys they, they look good. The chart looks good. Just needs some time to cool off a little bit from this big jump up that it had. And we'll definitely. I think that this one could long term do very well. But again, as always, please do your due diligence. Disney, have you looked at Mara yet? Let's let's look at it right now. Let's look at it right now. Mara, I want to talk about this stock. You guys know I love this stock. Uh, the big boss Jason invested in Demar yesterday as well with his big spending spree. If you haven't seen that video, it's a really fun video to watch. Him and Luke just machine gun invested two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's a really fun one to watch. Kind of like it's kind of like the videos where they show you like how when people go into a shopping spree, like you'll see like these big influencers do shopping. I don't really care what influencers do. Uh, Jason went out and bought a lot of stock, a lot of really good stocks too. Um, especially into the recovery and travel. So you'll, uh, I think, I would really love to see like the progress on that moving forward so definitely check out that video if you haven't um so marathon patent group um so bitcoin yesterday we saw had a 10 percent decline mara was green that shows uh so i don't care about uh, uh these bitcoin mining stocks when bitcoin is green that's not when i see their strength their strength comes when bitcoin is red when bitcoin is red and loot and fairly very red we were in like the 55 area 56 area yesterday and i'm just gonna produce aaron i'm gonna stop screen sharing this i want to go to bitcoin real quick and i'm gonna so i can uh, answer the bitcoin question parallel to what we did uh parallel to this question so i want to show them bitcoins uh give them a little bit of an idea of did i share the same i'm in to <laughs> i'm sorry produce aaron's gonna kill me uh, let me just do the entire screen so that way we don't have to go back and forth. Um, okay, so hopefully you guys can get into the full, full view. There we go. This is Bitcoin. Let me go into full feature chart. So this way I don't have to worry about switching up. I don't know why I always do Chrome tab, but here we go. So we had Bitcoin. This is a very bearish candle right here. Um, we have Bitcoin had two very, very kind of ugly days. Um, let me turn on some indicators as well so we can kind of have um, a better idea of where we're playing around with. So give me MACD, give me RSI. I don't care about the moving averages right now. Uh, this thing has been in a bit of a channel that it kind of broke and then bounced back into. But the MACD on the daily isn't doing so hot. It looks like it's going down. The RSI is coming down. So I think that we went to 60K very prematurely, and that was uh, that was not good. That's not good for any stock. You never want to run prematurely because it will come back down very, very quickly. And so this one definitely, it hurt the stock a lot when it came down pretty hard. It hurt the Bitcoin stocks a little bit. But yesterday, if you look here, Bitcoin was red. 
Mara and Riot were both green. So that was really good. It showed me the strength behind the stock. And today we had earnings come out from Mara, which I promised we would discuss here. And thank you to whoever, uh, to the person that dropped the question in here about Mara, uh, KB Ferno. Thank you so much. So let's take a look at their earnings. So this is a very, very different company than most companies. And we can actually, if it's cool, let's just go to the Marathon Patent Group website. Marathon, Marathon Digital Holdings, not Marathon Patent Group anymore. Marathon Digital Holdings. And I want to show you guys um, the actual quarterly report. And we can go through that really quickly together. So 10Ks, for those of you who are not familiar with this, an SEC filing where it's kind of your a quarterly report. 10Q is an annual report. I believe I either got those two mixed up or did them, did them all. I put out a quick cheat sheet on my um, on my Twitter of these filings. So you, that's what I use myself to. So here up here is essentially all of the stuff that we've known. Hey, we're going to get more miners. We're going to hit 10 exahash, which is a which is going to be, make them the biggest miner in, in North America. The a A6 uh, S19, which is the Bitmain. 1019. So let's look at their quarterly revenue for 2020. So I'm, you know what? I'm just going to go straight to the balance sheet part of this because we're all good investors here, and we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit about balance sheets here because I want you guys to learn this as well. So their current assets. This is cash and equities jumped by a ton. It went from 692 thousand to 141 million. That's beautiful. That's money that they have on that they have on the books, which is great. There are digital currencies because they stopped selling their Bitcoin. Now they're holding on to their Bitcoin, jumped up to $2 million, which is fantastic. I love that they're holding digital currencies. They've got other receivables coming in, 74 million deposits. So their current assets jumped up by almost 286X. So that's really, really good. Um, their non-current assets also went up as well, which is very good. Uh, liabilities. Um, decreased their accounts payable decreased um their mining servers payable is zero now it looks like they probably have paid off all their miners already because they did those big offerings that we went through last year all the pain of those big offerings last year so i think they've paid off all their miners now they're just being uh brought in monthly from bitmain which is really good so that helps with press so you expect monthly pressers in the beginning of the month and the end of the month from this company they've got a really good uh, investor relations person um and he does really good press and he replies really quickly to emails as well so if you ever have a question about this company you can always reach out to them um liability warrants so their total liabilities uh went down which is awesome uh their i'm oh, sorry that's their total liabilities based off of warrants so total liabilities also went down which is awesome i like that um stock equity total liability so this also this went up so that's okay uh, i'd have to dive deeper into this this section of the balance sheet is something that i'm not very well versed in so i don't want to go too deep into it but one thing that i want to show uh show you folks uh a lot of people were talking about this of hey why are their operating expenses so much higher why is their um their yeah, their operating expense. Why did it go up? Because, well, they have more miners. So this is a Bitcoin mining company. It's not like they went out and they hired 500,000 new employees. They've deployed so many new miners and miners take energy to roll out and kind of get out there. So you'll see that with a company like this, you're going to have operating expenses go up because they've got more miners and every quarter operating expenses will go up. And their uh, their CFO said, we're going to get to a point we'll have 90% margin. So that's really, really good. So I'm so overall, I'm excited for Mara's future. As you guys know this, I'm a big bull on Mara. Uh, Ride's doing very well as well. Uh, I want to see their earnings come out, and I want to see how they reflect because they haven't expanded as fast as Mara has. But uh, Mara had a red day here. I think this is more attributed to it's rising up now in the after hours. Uh, it's This is more attributed to um, Bitcoin than anything because Bitcoin had a huge decline last night and now Bitcoin's starting, slowly starting to recover. But I think the market reacted very... Um, very smart to these earnings. It wasn't a massive sell-off as usually you would have seen, but the earnings per share were 10, negative 10 versus 0.1 negative that people were expecting. I don't know why you would have such an estimate that they would cut by so so much, but that's completely fine. Let's talk about other stocks. Um, we've got so much coming in now. Um, ACIC is merging with Archer. Awesome. Um, we can take a look at the chart here. Uh, ACIC, Atlas Crest Investment Corp. Such a cool name. Um, these guys are been on a decline too. So these guys are at NAV. So just be careful. So post-merger specs can go sub 10. So be very careful with this one. Um, without moves, I'm not sure what Archer is. Uh, what do you think about uh, Tron TRX? So let's take a look at the charts. I don't know anything about that company. Tarzan Gold. Okay, so it's, we're looking like it's a gold company that revolves around gold. We can double check here. Minerals. Minerals are going to do good this year. Um, based off of everything that I'm reading, minerals should do good. Chart's begging for a reversal here too. Um, 
MACD wants to go up. Uh, see, they had a big spike here in January. I don't know what this attributes to, but something happened and it went up. But they're doing good. They're ready for a reversal. Um, this, might, this is around the time period you want to start accumulating a position for the MACD crosses. But this RSI downward is giving me a sign that we might not reverse just yet. So I'd give it like another day or two. Um, can you hear me? Um, someone says that they cannot hear me. Um, if others can please confirm that. Oh, you're you're good. We can hear you. Can you hear me okay, now? Cool. I think I fixed my mic a little bit better. I, I think I think you're coming in good now. I can hear you a lot oh, better. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. There we go. Um, what are we looking at right now? T uh, T R X T R X. Yeah, Tarzan Gold Corporation. So these guys are a, kind of a cool company. name too. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Tarzanian Gold Corp. So we should Tarzan. do a whole we should do a whole show just based off who has the coolest names and tickers. <laughs> Who? What else? Who else is a cool ticker name? Um, um I always Tor like torchlight like, is pretty cool. It's just torch. torchlight's cool. Yeah, it's like a torch. Torch is torch is interesting. I know they're merging with Meta, and uh, they they spiked up really really hard in February on this, and uh, they're coming down a little bit and kind of consolidating. But torch is another interesting one. These guys are going into green energy. They're merging with Meta from in the green energy play. I don't know the details of the merger yet because uh, I don't think they gave the breakdown, or else it would be literally plastered all over Twitter because everyone loves this stock so much on Twitter. Um, let's see, your debt has been cleared. That's all. I love when a company wipes out their debt. I'm I'm, just, I'm old school. I don't like debt. <laughs> I don't like debt one bit. Um, but Torchlight is interesting. Let's see what else do we got in the chat. NNDM. NNDM today was red, but NNDM long term. You heard Kathy Wood in the interview with Jason Raznick here on Benzinga. Kathy Wood likes NNDM. I like NNDM. NNDM is going to be a really good stock long term. Um, look at look at where NNDM was just a, uh, just literally less than a year ago. It was in the sub one dollar area. Now it's curling back up. And it's, it's fought its way back up and look a reversal is happening reversal might get rejected if we have one more red day and that's okay um but long, again this is a stock that you want to use these red days look the stock was a a low of six dollars and fifty cents went to a high of eleven dollars and sixty cents so again you could have literally used that as a scalping opportunity or you can use this to build your build your position up long term i i think that's that um so Richard's asking, is Raz still in Torch? I'm not sure. You'd have to ask him during Power Hour. Uh, yeah, we'll ask him that. tomorrow. What about, let's see, we, I, I talked about this one yesterday, CXW, Core CXW. Civic. I just actually, I, I did a sneak peek myself before you pulled it up because I wanted to see today. Talk to so, me about this one. What is this one? So it's a, it's a I, I pitched it yesterday and I was saying how I didn't love like what the company does because it's a private prison company, but basically- oh boy. If you look at the yeah exactly, but if you Man, look at come on, what are you doing to me? If you look at the five year chart, um, or like the three year chart or something, we you can see like, um, it's just basically gotten like beat up over the last like few years. But if you look at their financials, it's like a good value play. And I don't like I said I don't like the company. I don't like playing. Yeah, on, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not touching this one, man. There's too much <laughs> stigma behind this one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but but yeah i mean it's it's it, it it came from more of like a a fundamental value standpoint like For this sure. company was being undervalued um and honestly looking at the chart today it held up when like a lot of other things dropped mm -hmm. so i think that's always a good sign if you have something that uh looks to be it sort formidable. of consolidated down here and kind of held these low levels and is now starting to like fight its way back up right which is good. Uh, Diana Tran is asking about Amazon. Let's talk about Amazon. That's the most expensive stock that I know besides the Warren Buffett stocks. Um, so Amazon, let's see. Amazon is doing, Amazon's going for a reversal here. Amazon was green last I checked earlier. I guess they came back. They, they, they closed green, but they're red now. So we'll definitely have to see that. But Amazon's slowly fighting its way back up. This is a stock that was in the 3,200s for a long time. Well, 3,400 at its peak, kind of essentially ran up and it's been consolidating kind of fighting and to hit a higher high um I, li I like amazon i mean amazon is a company that's quite interesting there's so much built into the amazon company aside from just the amazon services you've got amazon prime amazon music it's got like a spotify netflix built into it as well so amazon's really good but it's a long-term stock um and unless you have the capital of like a few hundred thousand dollars to be able to kind of scalp this one this is essentially one of those that's good for the long-term portfolio. I have a little bit of Amazon myself as well, just just because it's Amazon. It's a it's a good one. 
XCOM. Imperia Fanatica is asking, I think R G R M G B is a missed one considering how hyped renewable energy will be this year. Renew Power is one of the largest renewable companies in India. Is R M G B, I believe that's the one that Chamath uh, funded the pipe for. R M G B, I believe it's that that spec. I'm yep. kinda off Chamath. Man, Chamath Chamath's a heartbreaker. Chamath's a heartbreaker. Um Chamath's awesome. I just feel like he's doing so much. There's way too much stuff that he's doing. He wants to run for governor. He's funding so many pipes. And then I know I just he, he's like one of those guys. I just feel like he he's like talking a lot right now about all these different ideas. And it's like pick pick one thing and follow through. I wanted to show you real quick. That's why I was on my sure. phone. I have point zero zero five. I don't know if you can see it. Point zero zero five share of one share of Amazon. You got it at a good average too, twenty four hundred. Yeah, I know. That's what like the point I was trying to make. I was like, it was like back in May. I was like, look, like yeah. Amazon's still undervalued. So I bought, I think it was thirteen dollars worth of Amazon on my Robinhood, and it's up uh, hey, like twenty. It's up. Look, it's up three dollars and seventy three cents for uh, like almost thirty percent. Yeah. So that on. was after the market had like already recovered in like mid May, and I was trying to make a point that like Amazon was still undervalued, mm -hmm. and um, I was like, yeah, you can pick literally the most expensive stock out there, invest in it, and still from uh, then to now, let's see, that was last May, so it's been about ten months, um, thirty percent, about a thirty percent return. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reminder to everyone watching: smash the like button if you haven't already. You'd really appreciate it. Um, we're doing this as a favor to me. So producer Aaron doesn't fire me and replace me with a rumor <laughs> so we can keep the show going. Um, so uh, let me see if we can get to a few more tickers. We've got a few more minutes left. Um, Amazon split. Yeah, Amazon would do really good if they did a stock split like Tesla and Apple did. Amazon is a $3,000 stock. They need to do a stock split. That would help get a lot of new investors in there. Uh, CE, we spoke about Alibaba earlier. If you'd like to rewind, we went a little bit deep into Alibaba as well. Um Diana says I'm holding Amazon for eight months already. I own five hundred shares. Wow, Diana, that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of money in Amazon. Congratulations, that's awesome. We got we got a high roller in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Um JPM, so JP Morgan, I believe is JPM. JPM, the bank stocks weren't doing so hot today. That whole sector was red. I think it's because people are shorting JPM because they haven't gotten their stimmies yet. They're waiting for their stimulus checks. They haven't hit yet, so people are short. I know Wells Fargo preemptively sent an email to everyone saying, hey, if you're waiting for a stimulus check, uh, it's going to be a while. Uh, Wells Fargo always always kind of screws the pooch. Um, Wait, what What do you mean? Like the, the, stimul the, checks are, like the checks are coming from the banks themselves? I don't know. So I don't have a Wells Fargo account. My uncle, uh, his, he has a Wells Fargo. I'm just gonna actually find the email right now and kind of tell you what tell you what it said. Um, Wells Fargo upcoming federal stimulus payments. We do understand the government stimulus payments, also known as the economic impact payments, are critical to many of our customers. So we want to share important information to you. Um, please be aware. This will take some time. In most cases, the deposits will happen right away, up to twenty five hundred dollars. Um, Sometimes it will take a 30 day rolling time. So it looks like they're getting people ready to say, Hey, you might have to wait 30 days to kind of get it. your, get your stimmy. So that's unfortunate for if you're in Wells Fargo, I've never been a big fan of Wells Fargo, their stock so much bad, so much bad PR with Wells Fargo, but JP Morgan was the question. So holding above the 21 MA, that's good. JP Morgan. I'd like to see, I saw that they're doing a, uh, doing a Bitcoin style ETF coming very soon riots in there micro strategies in their paypal's and their squares in there so that's cool i wish they'd included mara in there but that's just my personal preference um, are you like dragging your mic on the ground right now is that from your mind your end or my end uh my the pop filter on mine was getting i can't hear anything can you hear it yeah 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 there's just like sorry about that the here. pop oh, filter just popped I just real quick so i just wanted to adjust sorry about that um so i like jp morgan can be good um but I'm, I've never been crazy about bank stocks. I'll be totally honest with you. I've never been crazy about bank stocks. They had a nice gap up here in uh, November, uh, right after the election, just like most other stocks. But again, th th these are the ones that, in a correction, in a uh, in a crash, they get hit really, really hard, and it takes them some time to recover. So I've never been crazy about never been crazy about them. They, they've never offered banks don't offer much value uh, to me personally, so I don't I don't really care about them. Um, Type. Yeah, I know. I mean, especially too with like Square and Cash App and you know PayPal and everything, it seems like a lot of more money is going into fintech and out of traditional mm -hmm. banks. A lot um, of younger people are going to SoFi now. A lot, they're signing up through SoFi and moving like the, all their student loans to SoFi and their banking to SoFi. Yeah, and I mean, at the end of the day, like outside of 
needing like a debit card for having a checking account which a lot of people i'm pretty sure like people can get your your paycheck straight to cash app now and you can have a cash app debit I card think so, yeah. just use that too like and it's like that's literally the only reason i use a bank like i'm not gonna put a lot of money in a savings account at a bank that's gonna get no interest I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I don't, it's, it's the savings account principle. That's why I always like that. I always like stocks more than anything is because that you could find like even like you were saying an Amazon or something and put your money in there or and just let that accrue some interest for you over time because that's much more of a stable stock versus others. Uh, so the fact that Diana owns 500 shares, that's awesome. She's got a really good investment. Uh, Ta- Tania is saying the banks are banks have to release the checks. So it looks like the banks have the checks, but they have to release them. Uh, Meet Kevin is a really good source for anyone. Uh, he's a YouTuber. He talks about these checks and stuff a lot. He's way more knowledgeable about this stuff than I am. So I don't know much about the checks directly, but I, we talked about how you can probably break down your investments when the check comes early on into the stream. Imperia is saying, Kathy is right. The banks are in trouble. I believe so too. I think FinTech is going to take over uh, and take over that whole sector lghl should we close the show on lghl let's do it ryan lghl lion group holdings limited uh really cool speaking of cool names stocks with cool names lion is a really cool stock name as well um looks like they wanted to do a recovery looks like the stock was reversing and then it was quickly rejected with this red candle lghl is a risky one in my opinion because um they're looking for licenses to buy and sell crypto in india india is pushing back heavy on crypto i'm not a fan of this one i've seen a lot of pumpers and uh pushing this stock as well so please be very careful with this stock I use the pops to take profits, but in my opinion, this is not a long-term hold. I don't like this stock. Uh, opposite of Roaring Kitty, that was pretty quickly. And I hope, I'd, again, please do your own due diligence. I could be a thousand percent wrong, but I just feel like the crypto space in India is getting very, very risky. Uh, so be careful there. Krishna is asking about Tesla. I like Tesla a lot. Tesla is going to do really good long-term. If you want to learn more about Tesla, the Kathy Wood interview on uh, this channel will help answer any of your questions or doubts about Tesla. Uh, someone is spamming the chat with ASXC. ASXC, just give him like a two-second. Uh, spamming is never fun. Don't spam. <laughs> um, yeah, if 200. You do, now if you, if you do it, then people are going to know it works. Yeah, now if... Yeah, it's a, it's a, go ahead we'll do it this one time <laughs> okay so so the 50 it's holding the 50 ma uh i don't know anything about this stock it looks like a bio stock um but it's it's going down it's got more room to go lower so just be careful with this one too it's a penny stock in the bio world so just be careful there uh angie says this was great i think they're talking to you aaron aaron angie's saying this is great thank you oh thank you well, thank you producer aaron's, I mean, producing aaron's a machine gun like you see all these tickers coming down the bottom that's not automatic oh, you're saying aaron's i don't even have this one up well i don't even what is this oh aca no we don't need it it's over and the spammer did this one we can completely forget <laughs> <laughs> that's why i didn't have it ready to go <laughs> it's okay man you're, you're doing awesome you're oh doing see awesome. that wasn't even right <laughs> is it easier for you to bring their comment up on the screen than to type it out it actually is yeah that's a good point because I'm, I'm that way I... Used to, I was playing with Streamyard yesterday a little bit so i'm just starting like to get it in there so you, so yeah, um, CTRM is, again is another penny stock with a lot of pump behind it. Um, be careful there. But Aaron, I think it's six o'clock. I think we have to wind down, right? There's another show. Um, yeah, we, there's actually not another show, so we can kind of go a couple minutes if you want. But we sure, we yeah, let's go here. a couple minutes. I, I love these guys. Right. These guys are all, if they if they if they smash the like button, we'll answer for another few more minutes. Let's do let's it. Go sma- sma- if, if you get, smash the like button, then throw your question into the chat, and I'll we'll try our best to answer it. Uh, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. Um, CCIV. Uh, so I know Jim Cramer <laughs> has an interview with CCIV uh, this afternoon. So CCIV had a really good day. Uh, Doji uh, formed right here on the, the candle. It's This stock is begging for reversal. You got a huge gap right here that I think will eventually get filled. Maybe not soon, but in, in due time should get filled. Um, but I like CCIV long term, man. Lucid Motors, it's such a good car, such a good team behind it. Um, I think that the valuation thing hurt it a little bit, but I think that long term this will be a stock that will recover and do well so we will definitely have to see it um so reese is asking about tpgy ev go ev go is a um ev charger i like i like ev chargers it was that tpgy i believe these guys are a spac um merging with ev go these guys are doing very well uh ev go is like charge point is like voltage charging um EV go so in the order of rankings of how I like EV charters, it goes uh, Volta, 
EV Go than Charge Point. I missed the EV Go boat, so I went with uh, Volta and Charge Point. But I like I like this. So uh, Joe Biden said 500,000 chargers. Uh, that'll be part of the infrastructure bill. Again, not political here at all, but we should use all politics and all catalysts to our advantage to make money. So this could be very good. And the chart is telling me that, hey, we should see a reversal soon. Yes, we had a red day today, but that's completely fine. We can see that. We can see that coming back very, very soon. Uh, so, Reese, thank you for the question. Really good question. Um, Franco uh, Clomeco in all caps says, what do you think about uh, SWKS? I think that they will go down to 177, then go up to 190. So let's take a look at it. Uh, SWKS sounds from SWKS. Uh, Skyworks. Skyworks Solution. Why do these guys sound so familiar? Let me do a quick Google search. I think I know these guys. Skynet. Skynet. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's why. That's why these guys are semiconductors. I remember now. So, uh, so you're saying they're coming out to me? In my opinion, these guys are going to leg up. In my opinion, they're going to go straight for 190. The MACD is beautiful. You got these green candles. You got uh, you got a lot of good stuff forming. Uh, it's fighting that. It's fighting and holding that 50 MA for two days now, and it jumped from the 50 to the 21 really quickly. So I want to see tomorrow is a big telling day for the stocks. I think Skyworks will do good. Um, I think he's worried about this gap here. Is that what he's referring to? Uh, probably is this what he's referring to? But the gap was filled already, so I think that this this one will do well. I'm not. I'm. I like this one. Uh, plug is down seventeen. Wow. Why is plug down so much? Let's let's look at plug. Plug is down seventeen percent after hours. But uh, it's a, a holy cannoli. That's a lot down, man. Plug power. Plug power was one of those. Uh, plug power was one of the first uh, COVID era stocks that i was uh got into and i was like hey i'm gonna play this one it was like three bucks played it's like nine bucks sold it i mean i still regret it to this day but um plug power says determined to co-produce any financial statements uh there's a form eight so let's see what the form eight says uh march 16 issue it looks like it's been recovering a little bit from its after hour lows yeah, when when a stock falls this hard, people will come in and buy the dip because fundamentally the company hasn't changed much. Uh, Plug Power is in hydrogen. Um, Loss accrued. But do they have earnings? Is that what's going on? I don't think they had earnings today. I can't. There's nothing up here. Usually we have something up there for earnings. Um, solar stocks. Dim Plug Power to reinstate previously issued financial statements. Plug Power errors in account. I guess. I guess maybe there was some error in the accounting and the numbers were different versus where they were. So it caused people to panic sell, but it looks like it's catching up and recovering. So, I mean, if you caught the, if you caught the bottom, we can probably look at it on the one minute chart a little bit better to see if you caught it down here and wrote it back up. Congratulations. You made decent money real quick. Um, but that's cool. Um, plug is reinstate has to reinstate financials. Again, that's fine. That stuff happens, man. These are human beings behind these companies. Things go wrong. Um, there are errors in accounting. So Rocket, Darla's asking about Rocket. Rocket was a company that had a short squeeze thanks to Wall Street Bats, and I was able to get rid of half of my Rocket shares at forty-seven dollars. Before I'd, I'd never imagined that Rocket would go to forty-seven dollars this quickly, so I got rid of half of my shares. Um, but Rocket has that uh, nice special one dollar uh, dividend coming soon, so people uh, held on to that. But the ex dividend date has passed, so don't. I wouldn't buy it now. You're not going to get the dividend. The ex dividend date is the date. They need to have the stock buy. Essentially, the brokers take a snapshot and then give you the dividend based off of how many shares you own then. But Rocket is in a downtrend. I see Rocket coming back down to the 20s very, very soon, um, especially with this dividend payment. It, dividend payments tend to hurt stocks. Uh, that's why a lot of growth investors will not touch dividends because they will create dips into the stock and then it will need to kind of heal and come back up. But I think long term, this is a really good stock because they've got so much going for them. Um, and they've got so much tech and they've got so much, um, so many different aspects of real estate and insurance and all this different stuff built into Rocket that I think they will do really, really well long term. So I'm waiting for it to come down to the 20s to be able to purchase again and then ride it back up long term. So I like Rocket a lot. I like the stock, as uh, Roaring Kitty would say. Um, guys, smash the like. I want to see if we can get this video to 100. Like, we're seven likes away from 100. Can we smash the like button, please, if you're watching this? Get the stock to Let's 100. Let's get to 100 real get quick, and then we'll, do, then we'll do one more. Um, have, have we haven't done Roblox yet today, have we? We haven't. Let's get this video to 100 likes. We'll do Roblox and Rumor. Our favorite is asking for DPW. So if we get this, oh, there we go, 102. There keep, we go. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Keep the likes coming in. Keep the likes coming in. Um, we always have one person who hits the dislike button. It's like, who? Who, who is? It? I want to find it's that Rumor's person. job to find that person. 
rumor, if you find that person, that's when we'll bring you onto the show. I think it's that person I was spamming. Even though we answered his question, he probably got offended. But I mean, it is what it is. Spamming sucks. Don't be a spammer. Um, what's a uh, rumor saying? Uh, DPW still has news pending from their crypto lending program. Yes. So DPW, um, we're pending news for that. We're also pending news of their offering closing. As soon as the offering closes, DPW, in my opinion, will go off like a rocket. Um, it's doing really good in after hours. So that's really good. I like that. I have a pretty big position in dpw but if you look here this this is another one of those bending uh, begging for a uh, reversal so i want to wait for this one to come in pretty quickly and i think that once the offer closes it will go back up and then roblox as we promised the folks roblox roblox is getting uh i need to go to the i need to go to the like the 30 minute chart or something like that because we don't have enough data uh, is roblox, it still getting is it still getting that kathy bump no, the Kathy Bob wore off like literally like so like two hours after just went boof right back down to where it was. Like Kathy mm -hmm. Bob, uh, I feel bad for the I feel bad for the people who buy these stocks at the tops. I mean, long term it could come back up, but this stock is going to take a beating on its very first earnings. It's going to get beat up really bad. Um, it's doing it's doing decent. I like I like it, but again, I'm I'm waiting for this stock. I want this stock in the sub sixty dollar price range to purchase this one. That's why uh, I'm really excited for this one. Um, so, Darla, we actually discussed Rocket like not five minutes ago. So if you just scrub and rewind a little bit, you'll see we discussed Rocket uh, too long. Didn't listen, didn't read. Uh, TLDR, I believe, is the acronym. Um, I like I like Rocket a lot long term. Um, uh, Spray Ray can and as says, if you don't have at least one dislike, you're not doing it right. I, I guess, I guess that's the that's the YouTube rule. That's awesome, cool. I did not know that one. Uh, NNDM we discussed earlier. I really like it. So Kelly says, if you had a 2K investment, what would you put it in? I just sold my other stock today. Workhorse going down. Workhorse is gonna be weird for a while, especially with everything going on. So, uh, I actually posted a if you if you just want to invest the 2k and have fun with it and you don't really care about it, I put a M1 finance pie chart with 10 stocks that I really really like. So let me just bring that up real quick. Um they don't have Mara, so it's only nine stocks on there. So on my Twitter I posted the link there so we can probably um we can po post I'll throw your Twitter link in the in the chat real quick. Too. Thank you, man. Um, so the M1 finance uh, pie that I created, so this is just, again, this is purely on fun. This is nine stocks, but I, I would throw Mara in there to make it 10. I have NNDM in there, CrowdStrike, which did really well today. Square, Celsius Holdings, gap down, but it's recovering and going back up. Hasbro, this is, this is a powerhouse stock that a lot of people are sleeping on. These guys are priming themselves to become like the next baby Disney They've got. They're gonna have a streaming service. They're gonna have a lot of different stuff going in. They've got a powerhouse contracts for toys. Um, we also have SNPR. Why are my emails coming up on the screen? <laughs> we also have SNPR uh, too, which is Volta Charging. I like Tattoo Chef is another good one. I threw Coca Cola and Apple in there just because Coca Cola is a really good dividend stock, and Apple long term I really really believe in. So I think that these are two. Uh, these are nine and one finance. What I put in, I kind of have a split up a fourteen hundred dollar investment, but it works for two thousand as well. But again, uh, speak to a financial advisor if you really need the help for that to figure out what's going on there. Um, so we can take it from there. DNN, I like DNN a lot. It's uranium U U U U, which is four U's. Is also another uranium stock that popped today. Uh, I have a small investment in that as well. I really like that one too. They're both really good. Uranium is going to do well. The mineral stocks are going to do well this year um so dnn is one of those that was the sub one dollar stock that's slowly curling its way back up i think you can see two dollars very soon uh your troll says coca-cola is ancient history in my opinion um i don't know so this is the thing with coca-cola it's not just the drink in my opinion i think there's so much going on with that one that um i think that it's going to be a good one that has a nice base that can i think i don't think the drink is going anywhere i don't think the company is going anywhere and we can definitely see them I want to see them expand into sparkling drinks and maybe alcohol, be alcoholic beverages soon, but who knows? We'll have to see. Um, Tap is another stock that I like if you want to kind of switch out Coca-Cola. If you want more growth, you can switch out for Tap if you want in the beverage space. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Kelly says, I use Weeble and Robinhood, uh, both uh, good brokers. I know Robinhood got a lot of flack. But I like Weeble better than Robinhood, but Robinhood is good if you have a, like, a long account. You just want to throw stocks in there and not look at it. M1 Finance, same thing. Uh, SoFi, same thing. 
um, check out Cash App. I've, I haven't used Cash App for uh, trading before. I'm not too crazy about that one's really good for more if you want to buy, uh, send and receive money. Um, let me see if there's any things that I missed up here. ENG is a great green energy stock. I like that one as well. Fubo is uh, struggling. They will get back there. They're getting attacked by short sellers. There's a lot going on there. Check is the um, check is a bio stock for kind of gastrointestinal stuff. Uh, check had a really big spike on really good news, and then now it's just been kind of slowly. I think it'll break that 200 MA and slowly come back down. That's the thing with these bio stocks, man. You got. You, especially the bio pennies, you got to scalp them because long-term it's very rare to find one that just goes and kind of stays up there. Um, and then DM we discussed earlier. Smash the like button if you haven't. Um, Weeble definitely has better. Yeah, Weeble has a lot of really cool tools that you can use for charting that helps you out. Uh, Coca-Cola for water play is actually very good. Yeah, water is going to become a sector very, very soon. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. Uh, water is going to be something that's going to become very, very rare. And it's going to be harder to find clean and water. So I think Coca-Cola can be somewhere there that works. Uh, which ETF would you recommend for long-term hold, buy and hold? So there's two really good ETFs that I like that I've put my IRA into. One is the Vanguard's Total Index Fund, VTI. Um, that's one of them. The other one I like is ARCW for growth. Again, um, I'm only 25 years old, so I don't really. I'm. I was looking for more expansive and faster growth there. And I, if the market goes down, I can. I'm comfortable with waiting it out and wa watching it recover. But if you just want straight one to one with the S&P 500, VTI would be the ETF that I would go with because the cost, um, the operation cost is very very low, and it moves literally very parallel to SPY, and you've got a lot of really good stocks in there, and it's a decently priced. Um, ETF. Wow, it hit two hundred dollars <laughs> when I when I bought this one it was in the one fifties. I can't believe across two hundred. Finally, I I haven't been paying attention to it. That's the beauty of these set and forget stocks. You just completely forget about them. THCB chart. If you haven't already, sure. And Daniel, let's take a look at THCB. THCB, I like a lot. I have a full YouTube video on my channel where I did a huge two GD videos on it. Uh, my YouTube channel is the same name as mine. Um, but we're in the thirty minute chart. Let me take you to the daily chart. Uh, THCB popped on news and popped again on news. So THCB is going to do very well if we finally get the um, the Oshkosh contract for USPS gets approved. Uh, a lot of uh, people in the Senate and the House are pushing back on it for some reason because they have personal investments in workhorse. So they want this to actually go through to workhorse. But legally, I don't think that it'll happen. I think it'll stick with Oshkosh. And the reason Oshkosh bet THCB which is merging with Microvast to SPAC, will benefit all of the Oshkosh deal is because Oshkosh has a contract with THCB for batteries. So that's kind of how you see the ricochet effect of how these kind of stocks work hand in hand together. Um, um, all right, Ryan, let's go ahead and pick like one or two more tickers sure. here and then wrap up. Sure, man, sure. Let's uh, see CPNG we spoke about. Afira, CGC, or Tilray. I like Tilray the best out of all three of them. Um, Bitcoin going for 57K. Let's take a look at Bitcoin now. Uh, why are, you, why are you guys hitting me with a paywall? Why, why is trading you hitting me with a paywall? I, I didn't even do anything. Uh, so, so let's end it on Bitcoin. I think that's that's a good one to end it on. What about yeah? And we can we can, we can look at we have time to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum too if if you wanted to. Sure, I, you know I love Ethereum, man. I know you love Ethereum. Um, so Bitcoin is uh, Bitcoin is I think this is the broker is not connected, so it's not giving me the live price for Bitcoin, which is completely fine. We can kind of, you can go to like Coinbase or something like that to get the, the live price for Bitcoin. Um, hope I'm not signed in. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad I'm not signed in. Um, so Bitcoin, it looks like it's gone. It wants to go back to 57K. Um, it's 57K is becoming like a natural resistance point. 56.5 is becoming resistance, so that's going to be good. Um, let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum is one that I really, really love a lot. Um, so ETH, come to me. Now Ethereum. Oh, we have Ethereum futures. I didn't even know about that. That's awesome. ETH USD. Ethereum is actually, Ethereum is moving in this nice little channel here. It broke out of the channel, created a bull flag, and then bounced back into the channel now. And I think Ethereum is fighting really, really hard to go back to 2000. It will have a little bit of difficulty getting there because everything that's going on. Um, but I think Ethereum is going to be cool. I'm waiting for that 2.0 and fork that's going to be coming up, which will update a lot of the kind of the, um, the gas 
issues that it has, which is the cost of doing that. Uh, someone asked about Cardano. Cardano is really cool as well. It's trying to be like the new Ethereum. It's the penny stock equivalent of Ethereum. So if you'd like, I would, that would be more of a speculative investment, in my opinion, for Cardano. But they are coming on Coinbase in on two days. So you'll be able to have more easy access to buying it than going to one of those fighter pilot based uh, interfaces. So Aaron, uh, I think we should wrap up here. Yes, sir. I think that's a perfect point. And I, I do, I mean, I, I know I've mentioned this to you before about how like my theory is just how Ethereum and Bitcoin kind of track or Ethereum tracks Bitcoin and stuff. But I do for some, for, for like the first time in my life, for the first time mm-hmm. in crypto, you know, I kind of like Ethereum more than Bitcoin right now. I like Ethereum too. It's lagging heavy. So we can actually put the chart side by side and we, we can, um, we can see here like, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum beat, uh, was uh, above Bitcoin for a while, and now it's lagging Bitcoin a lot. So I like, I think I, I'm getting ready. So if, if it breaks down to like 1600 again, I will be adding another position. I'll be adding more uh, Ethereum. But one thing that I've learned with these uh, crypto stocks is just really whenever you buy them, as long as you're not buying it on the day where it's announcing that it's at an all time high, long term it will do well for you, essentially. Yeah. I love it. All right, and we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back for after hours on Thursday. But before that, we'll be we'll be having our little after party tomorrow night, right? Yeah, we we got we got to find a guest for that one. Uh, but we will find we will have we'll have something for you guys. And worst case, we'll have a family episode where it's Aaron and my, myself talking, and we'll cycle through questions and we'll have some fun. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it, Ryan. All right, man. Have a great one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. You too. You too. And we'll be back uh, tomorrow morning with pre market prep at 8 a.m. Eastern. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Smash the like if you haven't.